Now, when we're fully charged live in Austin, Texas, we got to interview Nouveau Monde Graphite's Nicholas Tremblay. So I am here at the Nouveau Monde booth at Fully Charged Live with Nick uh, from Nouveau Monde. And uh, we're gonna talk about graphite a little bit. Um, it's something that I've dealt a lot with, again, in pencils um, and in my EV, but not something that I see too often in my EV. Yeah. Um, can we, I, I'm so interested in these little, uh, these little jars we have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what you're seeing here actually is the uh, first product as, uh, after crushing the rocks and uh, running the whole thing mm -hmm. through ball mills and uh, polishing mills and all of that stuff, floating the graphite on top of water with uh, reagent, sorting the flakes, drying up the whole thing, you end up with flakes, which uh, they have different values, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they are, the bigger they are, the higher purity you get, the more uh, money in the traditional markets. So the bigger the flakes, so is that sort of, are they crystalline? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay, so, the, so crystals are pure, yeah. and so the bigger the flakes, then yeah. you... This is where you get the most money in the ah, traditional markets. So I see. What sets us, sets us apart as a company um, a Nouveau Monde Graphite is that we are located here in North America, yep. uh, in uh, southern Quebec, where we have plenty of hydroelectricity, and that stuff is obviously no emission. It's considered renewable, so we've got that, and uh, in the location is, is a mining friendly, uh, friendly uh, juris jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. As opposed to uh, currently in North America and Europe, there is no supply of uh, anode material. Yeah. It's all coming from Asia. It's coming mostly from China. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, Tesla and the other battery makers in North America and Europe obviously need to have local sources. Uh, there is a, uh, a you know a security of supply. Uh, there is also an issue with the way that the Chinese are doing their uh, graphite anode material is not sustainable. Okay. Um, they use HF acid. I'm not sure if you're familiar oh, with that's, HF acid. It's, oh, you do not want to even stuff. look at that stuff. Exactly. Absolutely. And oh, wow. they don't process the stuff properly. They dump it into the environment. And I would, I would say to anyone, I mean, if you're interested in, in these issues of sustainability, mm -hmm. um, you can look up, uh, uh, you know, an in, uh, investigative report that the Washington Post have done uh, back in 2016. Uh, you simply Google uh, Washington Post graphite and you end up on a very good report that tells you all of these uh, uh, problems that they have with the, the mining of graphite and the processing of the graphite in China. In Montreal, yeah. you have a wonderful hydroelectric power. Yeah. And so you're actually going to be using that. You're, are you going to be having you know, your typical diesel mining trucks and stuff like that? So you're gonna do... That's not the plan. What's the plan? Yeah, the plan is really to create the first open pit all electric mine in the world. So the trucks are gonna be electric? Yeah, that's the plan. Everything there Everything is Everything will be... be electric. So yeah. you're, I just, I love that because you're mining the graphite that is going to go into electric cars yeah. using electric vehicles yeah. and not only just electric, but you're running it on the hydropower in yeah. Montreal. So it's, so it's, the, it's such a clean thing. That is what I'm so excited yeah. about. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Nick. Uh, yeah, that was quite, quite such come. a pleasure. Lovely learning about this stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, I'm not going to see them in my cars, but that they will be in the future. Yeah. It was so cool. I mean, I've seen graphite before, but it was always, always, for some reason, in the form of pencil lead. Always. So it was cool to see the actual flakes and the stuff that's going to be going into batteries, like, like you know, after they grind it up into this very fine powder that's then going to you know, go through the processes to be turned into lithium ion batteries. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, why are you guys talking about graphite? You should check out our video that we did on graphite and how it works in an EV. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and in depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. Jesse and I have been enjoying Masterclass, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Yeah, business leadership skills from Bob Iger. Yeah, that Bob Iger. Jazz from Herbie Hancock. Basketball from Steph Curry. Yeah, that Steph Curry. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.